Oh, that's why I want to show you how to install apps on your Android, iDroid on iPhone 3G, iPhone 2G, and I just have 1G. Um, so if you follow my other video, I made how to get Android, and now iDevice key. So I'm going to show you how to get the apps because there is no Android market. So once you boot, so you have to have an S. You have to have Win. Win SHP. Download that. Um, go to download the page and download it. Download. I click on install the installation package and download it. And then once you've done that, you want to search for an APK. So I'm just going to search for. I don't know. I just search. For, I just search dot APK. Um, go on for share to do this. To share quite a bit. Uh, what should I get? Okay, I'll get Fruit Ninja, but. I don't know, what should I get? I'll get Game Boy. No, I'll get Fruit Ninja. Games and Android on iPhone is quite slow and quite laggy. Um, it's quite laggy and. Yeah, it's basically just quite laggy. I'll just show you how to actually. Yeah, actually, I think I'll just yeah, basically just download one, and then once you've got one, go into where you downloaded it. I think I've got some. So, okay, so I've got Flash Bear. So I, I've got the Flash Bear app, and I'll open Win. And you must have um you must have open SSH from Cydia to do this and you have to on it. The password's Alpine, it's gonna be in the description of it. I think that first boot to iOS. I'm not booted in iOS, I'm booting in Android. So Android is not that cool really. I don't see the point of having it. The battery dies out within two hours of going on Android. Um, it's alright though. You can't use it for everyday use. You can't really. You can't use a camera because it just hangs there. You might just break your iPhone. <coughs> just before you get it, I recommend just to read about it and stuff. Well, you can always uninstall it if you want to. Okay, so boot to iOS, which is. Mine takes about 2 3 minutes to boot up to iOS. Um, you need to open SSH and enable it from. Enable it from. Uh, thingy. I'm not just playing a bit of Black Ops now because I'm on board. Um, yeah, waiting for my iOS to load. So if you scroll. Um, hurry up! It takes about two, three minutes. So once you do that, yeah, basically just load it up. You need to be an iOS to do it, and I'll just show you in a minute when it loads. So I'll pause the video until it loads. Okay, mine's loaded now. Um, just go. So slide this little thing up and go on click SSH on SP settings if you've got it and just make sure it's on and get your IP address of your device and root uh, um, you should change that password afterwards this so like I do. Oh, I just died on the black ops. This one's from Panther Man. Okay, just went to. Uh, actually, I think I've got it wrong. Wait, okay, I've got it wrong.
bro. Let's go again. Okay, let me think again. Yeah, I wrote the IP address wrong. Just watch how this dot. That's why I wasn't loading. Okay, let me do it again. One, two. Okay, so now it's worked, and now you want to go. Okay, now, now you want to go there, back one, and you want to go to SD card, down, make a download, and drag it in there. I've already done it. And then once you get it, go properties and change that to 777. And then do that for every app you get, and do that for the download folder. Mine's already done. 777. And and your SD card folder. 777. I don't know what that does, but it makes it work. Okay, so once you've done that, you want to boot up Android. So boot up Android and then go to File Manager. File Manager. I'm sorry I can't show you, but I'm doing it. Go on file manager and then after file manager go into download folder and then where where your app is click install and it will install it. Um it works, I've installed three apps so far, I don't see the point of it. Flash player is another addition to Android that is better because uh, iOS don't have it and it's just too good. Okay. So I recommend it and comment, rate and subscribe. Bye guys.